Hello all and welcome to The Good Witch. This is your Gemini October through November intuitive tarot reading. So, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. Um, for those of you who are new, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back okay so we're gonna look at your love your finances and give you a message or a few from the divine but i wanted to be clear that a lot of the people this month have been a lot of the signs people this month have been running together as far as those three things everything is kind of intertwined your heart is conflicted this month. Maybe not, but we're going to flip over the cards and see. But a lot of people's hearts are really conflicted right now. There's a huge shift occurring as, as far as astrology goes. And, you know, we're all one and we're all connected with the stars. We're not all on the same vibration, but there are some ripple effects that do bump into us. So while I was shuffling your cards, um, there was a song. I don't, I just kept hearing, it's going to be difficult for you to forget me, love. I think it's Kevin Gates. Um, the voice sounded like Kevin Gates, but it was, it's, it's going to be difficult for you to forget me. I know last month, Last two months, you've been walking into your self-actualization. And you have someone in your life that's trying to leave. I guess they feel like they're not a part of it. But it's going to be really, really hard for them to forget or get over you. Um, but your love life this month, you have the Two of Swords. The Six of Swords and the Nine of Disc. So, y'all aren't supposed to be together, but y'all are very attached to each other. Being with them disturbs their peace because you're too honest with them. And you don't tell them what they want to hear. Because you found your own personal truth. So you're just extremely honest with them. And you tell them the real. You give them what it is. And that works for you. you you're working in facts when it comes to that. So if y'all have been dating for four years. And they want a relationship with you. And you just don't see it. You tell them that and they're like, well, why'd you waste my time? And you're like, I don't think it was a waste of time. I enjoy you. You're just not what I want for my life. I don't see you raising my children. I don't see us being together forever. Now, some people, someone could be telling you this, but I really feel like it's the Gemini telling someone else this. Like, yes, we are amazing friends. Yes, we potentially have amazing sex. Yes, we can do whatever together, but I'm not ready for what you're ready for. I don't want what you want. And they're not going to take that well. They are going to try to leave, but you're at peace with the situation. You're at peace. You don't want them to leave, but you feel like if they do leave, you want them to do what's best for them. Because you're going to do what's best for you. And you just feel like if they leave, it just wasn't meant to be. Like they weren't meant to be a part of your life. It's going to be difficult for you to forget them too. Because you're really, really going to miss their energy. You're going to miss, you need them. But you don't want them in the same way they want you. So you have this struggle of trying to keep them and still being honest with them. 
okay? The six of this looks like you're gonna be very successful in doing that. It's gonna take you some high quality thought and you might have to promise them a new beginning. And if they don't, if they don't stay around, you'll have a new beginning with someone else. Let's see this new person. It's a very emotional water sign um, of Pisces. And this Pisces could be sun or moon, maybe even rising. But it's like a really mushy, emotional, passionate person that's going to be in your life if this isn't the same one. Because this one could leave and come right back. They could leave and make this scene and y'all have this whole conversation because you won't fight with them and they want to fight. And you're just like, no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not dealing with that. It's because you know it's going to be hard for them to let you go. And you know that because... The reverse is true. It's hard for you to let them go too, but you don't want to be pushed into anything. And they feel like it's been, however long it's been, it's not pushing. It's natural progression. And like what's natural for you is not what's natural for me. So don't try to make me do what's natural for you. Give me my time. Give me my space. And they're going to try to give you a hell of a lot of space. Take all the space you need. But both of you will struggle with that decision. And this could be even, if it's not your love life, this could even be so much as a best friend. Well, it would still be your love life, but it could be even like a close friend that wants more with you. Someone you have kids with that wants more with you. But this person has been around and they're not wanting to leave, but they're threatening to. They might leave for a while, but it looks like they'll be back. But it's torturous for them. And it might be torturous for you. Okay, let's look at your finances. You have the Queen of Cups. The Six of Wands. And the Sun card in reverse. So, that's great for your numbers and like I said a lot of these things are meshing together this month and it looks like yours is doing the same thing you're doing great with money you have a little bit of an overflow if you don't make a lot of money if all your bills add up to two thousand dollars you'll have 2400 or something like that it's just like you'll you'll have enough to cover everything and you'll have some surplus okay um, your finances aren't really shifting. You feel like you're okay there this for a little bit. You don't really, things aren't perfect, but they're better than they were six months ago for most of you. For a few of you, they got really good six months ago, but they're better than they were eight months ago. So, they're growing. They're doing better. This 2020 is turning around for you. Has turned around for you. Mm. But you're not happy. You have your sun card in reverse. Because of your self-actualization experience. And because you're growing more into the person that you want to be. You want the full picture. You want peace. You want wellness. You want health. You want healing. You want you're happily ever after. Oh yeah, that's a really, that's a deep service and we provide that, but you would have to do that at the website and you have to be sure that that's what you want to do. Um, but you want your happily ever after. And you're trying to figure out how to do that without this person that you want slash don't want. Because they're trying to figure out how to have theirs without you. And you know it. And you have a very... You guys have an on and off honest relationship. Like sometimes y'all honest with each other. And sometimes y'all not. Y'all take turns lying to each other. It look like. 
but you're only lying to keep the other person in your life. And you're going to try to replace them with someone easier to control. Someone easier to maintain. Trying to create a new relationship. But your thoughts interferes. Your thoughts interfere. You're with one and you're thinking about the other one. While you're at work, you're thinking about this person. You're wondering what they're doing. You're wondering why you haven't heard from them. You're wondering if you should reach out or if you should just let them go because they told you or they may tell you you're causing them pain. But you're afraid of settling in your finances. You're afraid of settling in your love life. You're afraid of settling, period. That's a good thing to be afraid of. Your finances aren't going to blossom to the extent that you want them to until you get very clear about what you want. But come November the 3rd, the first week of November, November 3rd through the 6th, by that time I need you to be very clear on what you want because you have the opportunity to manifest those things into your life. You'll have a beautiful window for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November the 3rd through the 6th to manifest those things that you want to be in your life, but you have to be very clear about what you want, okay? And you spent a lot of time recently figuring out what those things were. Go back through your notes and your notebooks. Make sure that's what you want, okay? Let's look at your messages from the divine. Again, y'all, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. We get a lot of views, but, and y'all watch it all the way through because I know how many minutes you stay on there. Stay on here, you just forget to hit the thumbs up button. So please do, okay? Thank you. Um, I'm so glad I'm a part of y'all life. And I'm so glad y'all are a part of mine. And honestly, I say that at the end of my videos a lot, but it's true every time. You feel that way about someone and someone feels that way about you. You're just not as much a part of their life as they want you to be. They want more of you. And for your message from the divine, you have the Princess of Cups in reverse. The Lust card upright. And the Princess of Wands in reverse. So you're moving your emotions from so many things. And you're moving more into what you're passionate, what you're listening after, what you want. And it all depends on what you want to be driven by. Do you want to be driven by love or do you want to be driven by passion? They're very different. One is more sustainable than the other. Love lasts longer than lust. But because you know, because of you knowing who you are, you know what you want. Even though you feel like the people around you want you to make a decision between one or the other, you're trying to figure out why you can't have both. And you absolutely can, if that's what you choose. And if you're honest about it, you're going to have to be very forthcoming, very upfront. If you're a female and you're in love with one guy and you're in lust with another, you can be very clear with them. Joe, I'm in lust with Tom. Tom, I'm in love with Joe. And I need y'all to I need y'all to be okay with that. They might look at you like you're crazy. But you're gonna ask because I know who I am and I know that this is not conventional, but I don't wanna lose either of you. So I don't have to sleep with both of you. I don't have to do this, but I just want you to know that I'm being completely honest and I would never hurt either. I would never hurt either one of you. Yada, yada, yada. And this is not a sit down conversation between all three of you. This is just a conversation with each of them. 
giving them the details that they need to know in order for them to make their own informed decision. And once you do that and they make their decision, it's very possible that you could have both. I don't see you having any failures this month. You have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Things are going to work out in your favor and in your benefit. You're not at a loss at all. It's going to be difficult for them to forget you. And it's going to be difficult for you to forget them. But y'all both keep trying. Y'all just come back to each other. Y'all pull away. Y'all are like the tide. Y'all pull back and then y'all come in real heavy. Y'all pull back and y'all come in real, real heavy. But now it's to the point to where it's on your mind so much that it's affecting your money. So you need to be careful with that. You need to be careful and you need to get clear about what you want. Like I said, get clear about what you want. Do some self-reflection, some more self-reflection. Or you probably already have done it, but go back, review your notes and the things that you write down for yourself and the plans that you have for yourself. And make sure that you get them down on paper. You do your rituals or you do your manifestations. Especially those three days you have to wake up in the morning and go straight into, thank you. This is what I want. This is who I am. This is already happening. Yada, yada, yada. We, okay. Let me see. I need to, okay. I need to start writing down some of the videos that I say I'm going to do because my time runs real thin and I want to do so much for you guys. But my time runs real thin sometimes when it comes to that. When it comes to YouTube. Okay. So, I don't really think you guys need anything else. You're coming to the completion of a couple, cycle, couple cycles. Everything else looks beautiful. You're extremely stable. You're extremely aware of who you are and what you're becoming. And what you're growing into and the changes that you want to occur in your life. You're not worried. You're not failing. And you're full of new beginnings and new relationships all over the place. Your forgiveness journey is going well. There's so many things that you're becoming apathetic towards that. You're just walking through a space of, I'm fine. I got it. I can do this. I don't care. That's a good place to be for a while, but not long term. But it looks like your passion is coming back in and it's going to be overwhelming anyway. So, hi. That is my cue. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful next few weeks. I will see you again soon. Please watch your moon and your rising video. Um... And check out, check out Obanani, okay? All right. Peace, love, and delight from the Good Witch. Again, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you for being a part of my life. And I'm truly grateful for you allowing me to be a part of yours.